The state governor Abubakar Sanabello has appealed to Nigerians to maintain, preserve and promote Nigeria's rich cultural heritage in order to leave a legacy for succeeding generations. He stated these when he visited the Emir of Zalzal, Ahmed Nur Bamali, at his palace in Zaria. Jeremy Bemei reports. Zaria is an ancient city in Kaduna State, the capital of the Zalzal Emirates, one of the largest traditional emirates in Nigeria. The city was established as the seat of the throne of Zozo more than 700 years ago, while the kingdom of Zozo is about 1,000 years old. It is among the oldest and most populous kingdoms in northern Nigeria. Zozo was a collection point for slaves to be delivered to the northern market of Kando, Katsina, where they were exchanged for salt with traders who carried them north of the Sahara. History also records that the kingdom existed long before the advent of Islam in Nigeria, a reality establishing that the people had the manner of life and values independent of the religion, which also makes Zaria a melting pot of Hausa history and origins. In 1804, the Hausa ruler of Zaria pledged allegiance to Usman Danfodio, the Fulani Muslim leader who had been conducting a jihad in northern Nigeria. This resulted in a Fulani becoming ruler of Zaria in 1808. The Hausa ruler then escaped to Abuja, where he established a state now known as the Suleja Emirate, retaining his independence and the title of said King Zauzo. The ruler of the modern Zauzo Emirate also uses the title said King Zauzo or said King Zaria. The present Emir is from the Malawa dynasty and is also the grandson of first Fulani Emir of Zauza, Mala Musa Bamali, the founder of Malawa dynasty. While on a courtesy visit to the palace, Governor Sanibalo took a tour of the historical sites in the palace, including the first palace of the Emir, the women wing, clinic, stables, the old city palace, and fence built by the 16th Emir, chamber of late wives of the late Emirs, and the old personal accommodation occupied by three Emirs, Malam Yakubu Jafaru, the 16th Emir, the 17th Emir Muhammadu Aminu, and the 18th Emir Shewu Idris. Some structures in the palace of this ancient city are believed to be over 600 years. The preservation of um, ancient structures that have been here since 1920s and 30s. Uh, I think uh, this will go a long way towards maintaining our history and uh, culture. Uh, you can see the palace is taking a new shape without having to destroy the entire palace uh, the, the feeling of the traditional institution is still there but you can see it's been cleaned and uh, it's been tidied up so uh, I hope uh, uh, most of our traditional uh, rulers will, uh, uh, will see what is being done here and do the same in their various uh, emirates. It's a personal friend and uh, even though he hasn't been uh, to the palace here since my ascension to the throne, but uh, every now and then uh, I receive messages or phone calls from him and even from some of his commissioners, you know. So it is uh, a remarkable visit and it will remain green in our minds for the rest of time. The secondary school curriculum in Nigeria does not have history as a subject or historical landmarks like this leave a trace of history for upcoming generations. Chenemi Bami, 